Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Daisy here and today we're going to be doing a little DIY marble shelves. So if you want to spice up your shelves, um, it doesn't have to necessarily be marble, but I'm going to be doing marble today. So if you want to check that out, just stay in tune. We'll jump right into it and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the little post notification and let's jump into it. Alright guys, so like I said, we are going to be doing DIY shelves and I did order mine off of Amazon. I will link the little thingy thing down below in the description. Let me just show you what the, it looks like. So it, I already opened it. Um, so it, it, I bought four. So I did buy four of these because I measured out my shelves and I did the little calculations with the put a little math thingy thing. And this is how they look. They're like 11 point something by 24, I do believe. Um, I'll leave it down below. It doesn't say here though. So yeah, I bought four of these. And this is what it looks like. Let me just open one up for you. I do still have my nails intact. These actually been holding strong. It's been like two, three weeks maybe. I can't remember and I can't open this because of my nails. So, cha -cha. all right, so let's do a little, yeah. All right, so this is what it is. This is a little vinyl that you get um, in the back. It does give you these little squares to cut along, um, the little measurements as well. And we are gonna be using that to our advantage today. So yes, let's just jump into it. Um, and today I am not wearing any type of makeup because it is Sunday that I'm filming and it's a calm day, nothing. Serious, so I, I do look a little dead. It's okay, guys. It's okay. But yes, we're gonna jump right into it and let's see how everything started. All right, guys. So for any DIY project, you want to start with a fresh canvas. So I am taking everything off of my shelves, and right after, I am gonna remove the shelves that are inside. And from there, you want to just wipe down everything. So everything will be nicely cleaned and that nothing gets stuck in between the vinyl and your shelves. And then we're just going to go ahead and measure off the sides because that's where we're going to start and then cut off our vinyl piece for it. And I'm sorry that I am a little bit out of frame here, <laughs> but um, yeah, I just had to cut that little portion off right here. And yeah, I did have my little helper right there, as you can see. She was very excited to help. <laughs> Her name is Tommy. And yeah, that is my helper for today. And just to go ahead and let you guys know, I am using a Tupperware cover that I did find in the kitchen because I do not have like one of those professional spatulas to get rid of those air bubbles that get stuck in between. So any like a flat surface that you have will work for this just to get those air bubbles out and so for other materials as you can see I do have the vinyl I'm using the Tupperware cover and later on I will end up using a razor blade or like a box cutter to cut off any excess vinyl that is sticking off in the side and at first I didn't do that um, because well I didn't think of it and this is actually my first time doing anything like this but that will come in handy because as you see I am struggling with like a very small portion of the excess vinyl that I did end up wrapping inside so the thinnest pieces of vinyl that you're gonna have um, extruding on the sides you could cut away with like a box cutter just going along with the edge of your shelf um, anything that is pretty big that isn't going to get covered with another piece of vinyl, it's okay to just fold in to give it that cleaner cut. Mm -hmm. 
this one was a little trickier because on top I don't know if you could see it but since it is attached to the two sides it does lift up a tiny little bit and I for this I did use my nails to push in the vinyl for the little corner that it had so it could be seamless Using the box cutter for the excess vinyl that was poking out is perfect because as you're going to see over here I am having some trouble with the vinyl that I first put in on the sides. Like it was getting a little bit in the way so I had to like push that down even more but I should have just cut off those small little portions. So you see me I'm pushing everything even on the sides that are in the back. I didn't really need it but at the moment I was just pushing everything down and so we come to break time i was really tired like my hair was flinging everywhere because it, it is in a ponytail and i'm pretty sure you can see that it got on my face it was getting everywhere and it got really hot but yeah we're gonna continue and now on to the shelves so i do want to remind you clean down the shelves extra squeaky because you don't want anything to get stuck in between your vinyl and the shelf itself because later you're gonna see I did struggle a little bit with like a tiny little piece of I don't know what it was but it just poked out and I couldn't really take it out at the end so you just want to be careful with that As you can see here I finally started using the box cutter I don't know what it was I was just like yo let me just try this and see if it works and it was working perfectly as you can see they're not big pieces they are long but they are the thinnest of pieces too which I did not need to try to fold in so yeah so as you can see here I am gonna be folding it in even more from this portion only because the vinyl itself is like probably half an inch and it's gonna stick down better than the thinnest piece of vinyl wrapping around. So we're finishing up the second shelf and as you can see I am happy and I have no idea why I wobbled. <laughs> so we are going to go ahead and start with our middle section of our shelves and with a pair of pliers I did go ahead and take out the studs that do hold up my shelves in the middle and I'm going to just continue with the same process of measuring and putting down the vinyl and cutting off the excess parts here.
and I know I said I wasn't gonna do the back of my shelves but like I also said any excess vinyl that sticks out that's half an inch or more I am just gonna pull over um, especially if there is no vinyl that's gonna cover that section either way so <laughs> here you're gonna see me using the tip of the box cutter not the actual blade but just the tip to push in those holes that we had before that show you where the studs could go in because these shelves are adjustable on the height that you wanted to have between each of them so I just went ahead and poked those in and then from there I did go ahead and work on the final piece for vinyl which is the bottom section so yeah I'm just cutting up small sections putting them down the best that I can uh, well and aligning them as best as I can Alrighty, so here I am using my pliers once again, putting in the studs. With the tip of the plier, I'm actually poking in the hole this time, not just indenting them. I am poking in a hole so that way I could put the pli the not the pliers. What am I saying? <laughs> uh, the studs back inside. After countless hours and breaks, it's finally done. So I'm gonna just put it in the shelves and see the final outcome. I am in love. Like this came out really well. I didn't think it would come out this good. But like I said, I didn't do portions of my shelves that no one is gonna be able to see and you can't even tell. So this is the final final outcome with everything back in place not the original items but yeah it's cute <laughs> all right guys so i hope you enjoyed my little tutorial and to be honest at the end i just couldn't put my shoes back up there because one those are the shoes that is not that i like them it's just that they don't have any box so i don't put them with my other shoes and two it would not look cute on my new shelf that got its makeover it's super cute i am in love with it i'm not gonna lie it was a little difficult well i don't know it's because of me because like my bones hurt and whatnot and my hands and whatnot but it was super fun i had a great time doing it and i do have a whole bunch of bags coming in from aliexpress i gave that website a try so if you want to see like a little aliexpress haul let me know i'll make a next video on that one once they all come in that is and yeah so those bags are gonna go in there and yes i am excited for that and thank you again for sticking all the way to the end i will see you guys next time and don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on the little post notification and i will see you guys next time all right stay safe and take care bye